All right, so we've modelled our thinking there. We've shown how we've solved the problem. But maybe we should record it. That way we can share it with others and get their thoughts on what we did. So I'm going to hit record. This was a real doozy of a problem. To solve it, we figured out that we needed to backtrack and we thought a number line was a nice way to do it. We started at 10 because that's how many gumballs we had left. Then we worked backwards through the problem. Rather than taking away, we had to add. So we added five to make 15. We then doubled 15 to make 30, double 30 to make 60, and doubled 60 to make 20. I think that Charlie started with 120 gumballs. We might pause our thinking. Great, so what we've created there is what we call a thinklet. Um, but what this, prob what this platform does, which is nice, is it's not finished yet. It allows us to review our thinking. So for me, this is that nice metacognitive element. It's asking us to think about, well, does our answer make sense? We had estimated 100, and our actual answer is 120. So yeah, that, that feels about right. Reminders, did I include units? Did I check my work? That's something that we might not have done too well. Could someone see how I found my answer? And then with the recording, is my voice loud and clear? Is my writing clear? There's no distracting noise behind me. I used a highlighter to draw attention. So once we're happy with the quality of our work, we can submit the thinklet to our class 